How's it going, guys? Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, really excited about getting into today's video. Um, I want to talk about a concept from one of my favorite books, The Way of the Superior Man by David Detta. Really good book, really good read. Um, I encourage every man to read this book. It's basically about increasing your masculinity as a man and about becoming the best version of yourself as a man. Yeah, so I would like to overview chapter eight of this book. And I love this book because the chapters are like really short. They're like one or two pages. Um, so it really gets right to the point quickly. And in this chapter, he talks about as a man, to optimize your growth as a man, you have to live just beyond your edge. And some of you guys may be aware of this topic already because I've talked about it sporadically uh, throughout some of my videos. Um, I do think it's important for every man to live and slight discomfort and live just beyond his edge to become the best version of himself. He also talks about leveraging fear and using it as motivation, okay? Primary fear shows that you are at your real edge. When you're at your edge, that's when transformation occurs. And I love this concept because I do think it's important as men not to shy away from fears. You know, and I'm not talking about a life or death fear. I'm just talking about everyday fears, those everyday things that we deem as uncomfortable mentally. And as men, we all have different types of fears. So for instance, some of us may be afraid of public speaking. So hypothetically speaking, you know, let's just say the director of your job invited you to do a speech at a conference in front of hundreds of people. You know, as many of you may know, you know, public speaking is one of the number one fears for Americans everywhere. A lot of us are just afraid of it. But you heavily prepare for this speech. You know, so you, were just, you decide to commit to it with great conviction and confidence. And then you pursuing it and doing it, that's letting you live just beyond your edge. And as men, I really truly think we need to authentically do this in almost every area of our life. Fear of fear may lead to hang back, living a lesser life than you are capable of living. When you shy away from everyday fears, you're living more for comfortability. You're not putting yourself outside your comfort zone so you can grow as a man. So you're honestly subconsciously programming yourself to be a little bit more soft and a little bit more weak. So I do think it's important to embrace fear and live just beyond your edge as a man. Like for me personally, like I tell myself consciously every day, what are some things that I can accomplish today that I may be a little or slightly fearful of, of doing? And one of those things is cold showers. You know, I take cold showers every day, but as you guys may probably know, cold plunges or cold showers isn't easy to do, especially when it's 40 degrees outside during winter time, right? You know, especially when I'm waking up and it's already freezing and I'm telling myself mentally like, okay, it's already cold in my house. So I'm going to basically put myself in an even more uncomfortable situation. That's living beyond my edge. I do that every day because I know that I'm growing mentally. I do that every day because I know that I'm telling myself that if I'm living, living beyond my edge, I'm becoming a better version of myself because I'm fully committed to the process of what cold showers do to me. Another thing I do to live beyond my edge is I would say, you know, since I am the, um, I'm in the technology sales industry, I make cold calls to CEOs of companies every day. Now, some of you pr probably already know this, you know, when you're making a cold call to anyone, that's already uncomfortable. Right. But when you're making a cold call to a CEO of a tech company on his personal cell phone on a Wednesday at 1 p.m., <laughs> that's that's extremely uncomfortable. Right. So that's an example of me deciding to live just beyond my edge. Living at your edge every day as a man is different for everyone. But I do think it's uh, it's very important to find those uncomfortable things that you can commit to every day that can contribute to your growth. And it's important not to shy away from those fears. And I love how David Detta like ends this chapter. You know, he says, by leaning just beyond your fear, you challenge your limits compassionately without trying to escape the feeling of fear itself. You know, and that's why this is one of my favorite chapters in this book. And to be honest, um, I think I'm gonna do a series of videos based off certain chapters in this book. Um, but I do wanna thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I'm curious to get your thoughts. You know, what do you guys truly think about living at your edge as a man? Feel free to drop your comments below. But uh, thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you guys have a great weekend.